welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Categories. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your Categories host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. Today we're bringing you a great intra-district rivalry as the Shawnee Mission Northwest Cougars take on the Shawnee Mission North Indians. Let's go ahead and meet our contestants first from Northwest. Hi, I'm Nick Sr. Uh, I'm in Chambers and Acapella Choir. I'm Jack and I'm in Journalism. Hey, my name's Yen Yen and I'm not in anything. Hi, I'm Gina Gabrielli and I'm in Categories. And our competitors from Shawnee Mission North. Hi, I'm Forrest Kinsey, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Walter Wright, and I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Bronwyn McNaughton, and I'm a senior. I'm Emily Kyle, and I'm a junior. I'm Emily Stava, and I'm a senior. All right, fantastic. Here on categories in the first round, we will take turns answering questions. If a team responds correctly, they earn a point for their team. If they respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. We did a coin toss before we started taping. It was won by the Cougars. So Northwest, here is the first category. It is sports history. What name were the Houston Astros originally known by? Houston. Jack. The Houston Angels. It is not the Houston Angels. Indians, chance to steal the sports history question. What name were the... Excuse me, what name were the Houston Astros originally known by? Walter? The Texans? They were not the Texans. They were the Colt 45s. The Colt 45s. Indians, you do get the next question. It is film slash movies. Whose name appears last on the list of every credits at the beginning of every movie? Time on that. Cougars, chance to steal this film and movie category. Whose name appears last on the list of credits at the beginning of every movie? Gina? The producer. It is not the producer. It's the director. The director. Cougars, you do get the next question. It is vocabulary. A bed on casters that can be rolled beneath a larger bed when not in use is called what? Jack. A rollout bed. Cannot accept rollout bed. Indians, chance to steal this vocabulary question. A bed on casters that can be rolled beneath a larger bed when not in use is called what? Emily K. Um, a trundle bed. It is a trundle bed. Back to you, Indians, with science and chemistry. Name either one of the two chemical elements represented by one letter symbols different from the first initial letters of their English names. Walter. Potassium and tungsten. Those are the two. You only needed to do one, but you did them both. Oh. Awesome job. Can't give out bonus points, but well played. Cougars, back to you with religion. The Persian word meaning reflection of Allah is the highest title that can be held by a Muslim of the Shiite sect. What is the title? Nick. A uh, Sunit. I cannot accept that. Indians, chance to steal this religion category. The Persian word, meaning reflection of Allah, is the highest title that can be held by a Muslim of the Shiite sect. What's the title? Walter. Caliph. It is not Caliph. It's Ayatollah. Ayatollah. Indians, going back to you with U.S. government. What famous document begins with the words, we the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union? Emily S. The Constitution. It is the Constitution. Math, terminology belongs to you, Cougars. How does a theorem differ from an axiom? Nick. Um, an axiom is assumed correct, while a theorem can be proven correct through postulates and axioms. Very good. Very good. Indians, back to you. This time you get sports history. What was the location 
of the 1936 Summer Olympics? Walter? Los Angeles. It is not Los Angeles. Cougars, chance to steal the sports history question. What was the location of the 1936 Summer Olympics? Jack. Berlin. Berlin. Cougars, back to you with military history. U.S. Ambassador Joseph Grew cabled the American Secretary of State Cordell Hall in November of 1941 that what nation might be planning a secret attack on U.S. positions? Jack. Japan. Japan. Back to you, North, with current events. Workers and their supporters across the nation held protests against which retail giant on Black Friday demanding pay raises and full-time work? Emily S. Walmart. Walmart. Very good. Cougars, U.S. Geography. Cheyenne and Helena are located in what time zone? Jack. Mountain. Mountain time zone. General knowledge, back to you, North. What boats, whose name begins with a B, represent the main type of traffic on intercoastal waterway that parallels the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic coasts? Cougars, chance to steal on this one. General knowledge is the category. What boats, whose name begins with a B, represent the main type of traffic on intercoastal waterways that parallels the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic coasts? Barge. Nick, it is a barge. Very good. Back to you, Northwest, with science biology. Rickets is a childhood disease marked by defective bone growth. It is caused by insufficient deposit deposition of calcium in the bones. What must be present in the body for bones to absorb calcium? Nick? Marrow? Bone can marrow? I, can I accept bone marrow? Indians, chance to steal this science biology question. Rickets is a childhood disease marked by defective bone growth. It is caused by insufficient deposition of calcium in the bones. What must be present in the body for the bones to absorb calcium? Emily S. Vitamin D. Vitamin D. Nice job. North, you have the next question. It's history, this time philosophers. It starts with a quote. I know nothing except the fact of my ignorance. Was a tenet proffered by what Greek philosopher? Walter? Socrates. It is Socrates. Coming back to you, Cougars, with current events. Name the oldest member of the U.S. Supreme Court who underwent minor heart surgery last week but is back to work again this week. Yen Yen? Ruth Bader Ginsburg. It is Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Back to you, North, with literature. The ship's doctor aboard the Antelope was driven by a hurricane to the northwest of an island, 30 degrees, two minutes south. Name this fictional character. Forrest? Uh, Gulliver? It is Gulliver. Cougars, back to you with vocabulary. Spot the stranger in this list, the word which is not synonymous with the other four. Here they are. Instigate, provoke, simulate, incite, or urge. Jack. Simulate. Simulate. Back to you, North, with art terminology. In art, the general term for a line that is neither horizontal nor perpendicular is what? Forest? Diagonal. Cannot accept diagonal. Cougars, chance to steal this art terminology question. In art, the general term for a line that is neither horizontal nor perpendicular is what? Gina. Incline? It cannot accept incline. Oblique. Oblique is the word we're looking for. Cougars, we are coming back to you with a, another math question. What is the square root of 12,321? Indians, coming back to you to steal this uh, possible math question. What is the square root of 12,321? Emily. 
111. 111, very good. All squares of ones are palindromic. Maybe, yeah. Nice job. All right, anyways, Shawnee Mission North, you do get the next question. It is world history. What two European countries controlled most of Africa north of the equator in 1914? Walter? Uh, Spain and France. Not except Spain and France. Cougars, chance to steal this world history question. What two European countries controlled most of Africa north of the equator in 1914? Gina. France and Britain. France and Britain are the two. Coming back to you, Cougars, general knowledge is the category. A New York judge in 1990 ruled that, that which activity defined as begging on the streets is a free speech right protected by the First Amendment. We're looking for a one word answer. Nick. Vagrancy. Can I accept vagrancy? Indians, chance to steal this general knowledge question. A New York judge in 1990 ruled that ruled which activity defined as begging on the streets is a free speech right protected by the First Amendment. We're looking for a one word answer. Bronwyn? Panhandling. Panhandling, very good. U.S. geography back to you, Indians. This resort area in the Atlantic is south of Cape Cod. This and adjoining islands constitute a Massachusetts uh, county or town. Name it. Forest. The Potomac. Pardon me? The Potomac. Can, cannot accept that. Cougars, chance to steal this U.S. geography question. This resort area in the Atlantic is south of Cape Cod. This and adjoining islands constitute a Massachusetts county and town. Name it. Jack. Boston. It is not Boston. It's Nantucket. Nantucket. Cougars, economics is your next category. What is the economic state where everyone who wants to work can easily find work at prevailing rates of pay? Nick? Uh, capitalism? Not except capitalism. Indians, you will get a chance to steal this economics category before we head into halftime. What is the economic state where everyone who wants to work can easily find work at prevailing rates of pay? Forest. Um, free market? Not except free market. We're looking for full employment. Full employment. That does conclude our first round here on categories with a Shawnee Mission North lead of nine to Shawnee Mission Northwest eight. At this time in our program, we are going to go to a representative from each school as they will give us a campus update. And Jack, looks like you've been selected to give us the update for the Cougars. Uh, well, last week we did our adopt a tot where students in each class uh, spend money to give presents to a little boy or girl in need and to get supplies to their parents to help take care of the child. Uh, soon we're going to have our, Char our Charlie Brown holiday musical. We recently had our not so late night kickoff to winter sports and next week is the last week of the semester. Fantastic. You guys ready for exams? Um, no. <laughs> All right, going over to Shawnee Mission North, it looks like Emily Kay, you are giving us the update for the Indians. So what's happening on Johnson Drive? Well, last week on Thursday, we had our winter concert for choir, band, and orchestra. And on Friday, we had our first boys basketball game, which we won against Blue Valley Southwest. Cool. Good stuff. And you guys are also obviously getting ready for exams. Yes, as well as we have a musical this weekend, actually, on Friday and Saturday, Dr. Horrible Sing Along Blog. Oh, very cool. That sounds like a lot of fun. Both schools doing great things, not only in the classroom, but outside the classroom as well. All right, as we head into our second round here on Categories, it is the lightning round, and as tradition here, we will start it off with our look and listen question, which is worth two points. We will have uh, the a monitor here in the studio for our contestants to see, as well as you at home. And... Students, or let me remind you that once someone rings in, we cannot rewind the tape to start over. So as you may ring in as soon as I am finished reading my question. So here we go, both teams, hands on buzzers. Give the nickname of this former federal penitentiary. Yeah. 
Yan Yan. Alcatraz? I cannot accept Alcatraz. Walter. The Rock. It is called, the nickname is The Rock, and we specifically asked for the nickname. So two points to Shawnee Mission North. As we continue here on our lightning round, questions are placed on the floor for either team to answer. If a team responds correctly, they earn a point. If a team responds incorrectly, the other team still will get a chance to steal. So here we go, both teams. This is literature slash authors. The only contemporary account of his death was penned by Reverend John Ward, who wrote that he, Dryden, and Ben Johnson had a merry meeting, and it seems that they drank too hard, for he died of a fever he then contracted. To whose death does this refer? Forrest? Shakespeare? It is Shakespeare. Science, anatomy for both teams. The longest nerve in the human body runs down the back, back of the thigh and into the leg. Sciatic nerve? It is the sciatic nerve. Yes, very good. Music, vocabulary for both teams. What Italian musical term indicates a gradual increase in the volume of... Nick. Crescendo. Crescendo. Art, sculpture for both teams. In sculpture, a portrait of the head, sometimes with neck and shoulders. Forest? A bust. A bust. Military history for both teams. A UN force was sent to this land in 1964. This island, excuse me, in 1964 to maintain peace between the Greek and Turkish residents. Walter? Uh, Cyprus. It is Cyprus. Science regarding species. From what two Greek words meaning first animals, they are members of the phylum of unicellular animals reproducing by fission. Most are aquatic. What are they? Forest? Uh, plankton? Not except plankton. <sighs> Cougars, chance to steal this a science species category. From two Greek words meaning first animals, they are members of a phylum of unicellular animals reproducing by fission. Most are aquatic. What are they? Nick. Uh, prokaryote. Can I accept prokaryote? We're looking for protozoa. Protozoa. Both teams, literature is the category. Name any one of the five published books by Martin Luther King Jr. Emily S. Luther's Small Catechism. Cannot accept that. Cougars, chance to steal this literature category. Name any one of the five published books by Martin Luther King Jr. Yan Yan? I Had a Dream. Cannot accept I Had a Dream. We're looking for Strive Toward Freedom, Strength to Love, Why We Can't Wait, Where Do We Go From Here, Chaos or Community, or The Trumpet of Conscience. Both teams, island geography is the category. What island lies between Sicily and Libya? Walter. Malta. It is Malta. General knowledge for both teams. Why does White Castle make their hamburgers square? Jack. It's easier to package. Don't accept easier to package. North, chance to steal this general knowledge question. Why does White Castle make their hamburgers square? Bronwyn? It will fit the bun. Can't accept it will <laughs> fit the bun. It's, you're on the right track, though. It's so they can fit more on the grill. They can fit more on the grill. All right, famous quotes, U.S. history, famous quotes. It's a fairly long question, so please pay attention. According to a famous story about P.T. P. T. Barnum, someone pointed out that many customers had, a, customers had a reason to be angry at him because they paid their admission and then found out that the freaks in his show were fakes. Barnum supposedly replied that he was not worried about losing business. Why not? Jack. The story would gain attention for him. I cannot accept that. Indians, do you have a chance to steal this? Forrest? Because a sucker's born every day. Because there's a sucker born every day or every minute. <laughs> World geography for both teams. It was called the hub of the British Empire. It's a London traffic circle. Name it. Gina. Piccadilly Square. Don't accept Piccadilly Square. Indians, you have a chance to steal this World Geography question. It was called the hub of the British Empire. It's a London traffic circle. Name it. Uh, 
Walter. Trafalgar Square? It is not Trafalgar Square. It's Piccadilly, but it's Piccadilly Circus. Piccadilly Circus, we had to be specific with that. Government, city government to be exact. Chicago's 50 wards are represented by city council members bearing what title? They are aldermen's, aldermen or alderwomen. Sports is the next category. Who was the first NBA player to win MVP award for the NBA Finals in consecutive years? Jack. Larry Bird. It is not Larry Bird. Indians, chance to steal the sports question. Who was the first NBA player to win the MVP award for the NBA Finals in consecutive years? Walter. Bill Russell. It is not Bill Russell. Surprisingly, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Both your answers were outstanding, by the way. Movies is the next category for both teams. The New York Times called the hero of which Disney musical a cross between Quasimodo and a buffalo? Gina. The Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Very good. U.S. government law. Any law that places a time restriction during which a lawsuit must be brought to court or a crime must be prosecuted is... Walter. Uh, statute of limitations. Statute of limitations, very good. And you've opened up a bit of a lead here, Shawnee Mission North 18, Shawnee Mission Northwest 10. Current events is the next category for both teams. This first municipal ban on fracking in Texas goes into effect this week in what city? Matter of fact, it's the place where the natural, gra natural gas extraction process was developed. Jack. Dallas. It is not Dallas. Indians, chance to steal this current events question. Walter? Houston. It is not Houston. It's Denton, Denton, Texas. Science, meteorology for both teams. You see a flash of lightning and count to 10 before hearing the thunder. How far away is the storm? Nick? Two miles. It is two miles. Mythology for both teams. In Hamlet, Laertes was the son of Polonius, but in Greek mythology, according to some legends, he was the father of what hero? Jack? Theosis. Cannot accept that. Indians, chance to steal this mythology question. In Hamlet, Laertes was the son of Polonius, but in Greek mythology, according to some legends, he was the father of what hero? Emily S. Perseus? It is not Perseus, Odysseus, Odysseus. World geography for both teams. What country ranks first in an alphabetical listing? Jack. Afghanistan. Afghanistan. General knowledge for both teams. Fairly complicated, so please pay attention. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Jack. A woodchuck would chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could if a woodchuck could chuck wood. That's outstanding. Nice job. <laughs> nice job. History, inventors is the next category. Who invented the safety razor? Walter. Mr. Gillette. It is Gillette, very good. <laughs> Music, composers for both teams. Beethoven was deaf. In his later years, Bach suffered from what sensory deprivation? Gina. He was blind. He was blind. Science with this one. You need a very specific answer. Albert Mich Mitchelson was the first American to win what prize? Jack. The Nobel Prize in Physics. That is, right, for physics. Very good. That's the specific specificity we were looking for. Language for both teams. In Greek, it means grace, favor, or benefit conferred. In English, it is a magnetic charm or appeal. It is charisma. Very good. Please wait for, for me to call your name before you answer. All right. Literature is the next category for both teams. Fairly long question, so please pay attention. A surprise bestseller since 1980, its 1987 publication, and one which argues for the kind of academic competition that has brought us here today, is subtitled, How Higher Education 
has failed democracy and impoverished the souls of today's students. Finish the title of this work by Alan Bloom, which begins the closing of the... Forest. Door. It is not door. Cougars, same question. Literature is the category. Finish the title of the work described before by Alan Bloom, which begins the closing of the... Jack. Mind. Oh, you're close. It's the American mind. American mind. Cannot accept that. General knowledge, Java is a large island in the East Indies. What commodity was once known as Java? Emily S. Coffee. It is coffee. And with that correct response at that ending siren, we have a final score of Shawnee Mission North 21, Shawnee Mission Northwest 15. Please join us again here on Categories next time as we continue to bring you the best and brightest minds of high school students all throughout Johnson County.